What's up? This is an unboxing video for the upgraded Ingway 500 watt, 12.8 amp hour electric bike. I got this on eBay for $1,600. It's currently priced at $1,900 and is out of stock from the person I got it from. Maybe you can find it someplace else. Um, it's a pretty cool bike. Um, the spe specifications are, it is black. It is branded all over the place. Uh, top speed is 28 miles per hour. But I've gotten it up to 32. Um, it has an advanced, colorful LCD display with cruise control. After 8 seconds of holding down the thumb throttle, which is on the left side, which I'm pretty sure is European, it will just stay at whatever speed it is. It's cruise control for real. It's pretty awesome. And you disengage that by pushing the brake. Um, it's got 20 by 4 inch tires. They're uh, Cheng Yao's, Yao Chang, something like that. Um, it's got a 48 volt, 12.8 amp hour LG battery. It's got a front and rear suspension, hydraulic and coil with a lockout. Swing arm, it folds. It's got a rear rack and it weighs 70 pounds. 64 pounds without the battery. Comes in a giant box that will not fit in a sedan. I had to take the box apart, shove it into my car and then undo the box <laughs> so I could make this video. Uh, it has a pedal assist, uh, it's got a cadence pedal assist um, thumb throttle, LED headlight with horn built into the headlight. Um, it's a 2 amp charger, 160 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes, 8 speed Shimano freewheel, and iron fenders on the front and back, which I removed almost immediately. The weight capacity is 330 pounds. It says the Ingway electric bike is styled in 6061 aluminum alloy. It's got a mechanical lockout fork, adjustable seat and handlebars, 20 inch wheels suited for both urban and trail environments, 48 volt 500 watt brushless gear motor. It also has regenerating capabilities. So in zero and first gear, if you're going over eight or 10 miles per hour, it will start putting energy back into the battery. So if you're like rolling down a sick big hill or something, just put it in zero and it'll just recharge the battery. Um, I've seen it go up to like 400 volts or 400 watts. Um, it says the mileage can be more than 25 miles and you can charge the battery in the frame or you can take it out to charge it. I've never taken it out to charge it. I've only ever charged it in the frame. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. Um, soft leather seat. It did not come with a leather seat. It was like this foam super uncomfortable seat like after about 10 seconds of riding it it was super uncomfortable the headlight horn combo is pretty neat but it is you know pretty low quality um it's just plastic uh it is pretty cool it does come on by itself when it gets dark it's got like a meter on the lcd screen so if it gets dark it will come on automatically i think i just said that twice um it's 95 percent assembled when you get it um, I hate those handlebars. I'm going to get rid of those handlebars and put some like normal bike handlebars on it. Um, it just puts you like ape hangers and I can't do like real good jumps. Like there's, it just puts your body weight too high. So definitely the first thing I'm going to do is to change those. Um, front aluminum alloy coil suspension, 100 millimeter travel, which is pretty good. Uh, swing arm suspension, 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters of travel, which is, uh-huh. It's uh, aluminum alloy rack which does make it fitting it into the back of a sedan a little more difficult. I usually have to swing one edge out where your legs would go um, and the other side would be on the seat. The charger is uh, really good quality. It is actually surprising. Um, I got a eBay, I mean, an EB-8 from Swagtron and the charger it came with was like a quarter of this charger. It was a piece of junk compared to this charger. It's a really good charger it comes with. Um, and the pedals are upgraded. They're metal folding pedals by Wilco, um, which is a pretty well-known brand. Um, and they've held up okay. I haven't done too much jumping with this one. It's giant and heavy. Um, and it's got that big knuckle that'll smack the crap out of your knees. So put a giant knee pad on that thing. I'm telling you right now, just do that before you go jumping in the woods with this thing. Um, chain, perfect brakes, handlebar, soft saddle. That's not true at all. The hand grips are trash, super uncomfortable. The seat is junk. Um, comes with assembly tools. Year warranty, but, you know, you just fix that yourself. Don't ever send a bike back to a place. I mean, it's going to get damaged in shipping. These are heavy bikes. Just fix it yourself. It's not that hard. 
Um, there's plenty of videos on eBay to teach you how to do it. So unboxing, here's the pedals, uh, instruction manual, the pedals, uh, instruction manual for pedals. Um, it's good for people who've never put on pedals before. If you do not know how to put on pedals, read this piece of literature because it will save you crank arms and new pedals, which is what I had to go through the first time I ever tried to put on pedals and did not have instructions or prior knowledge. Comes with tools, um, use your own tools. Although these tools aren't that bad, they're not as bad as the uh, Swagtron tools, which are junk. Comes with a instruction manual that's basically just nothing. It's not even worth reading. And there's uh, the unboxing of the box that was in the box. It's a big box, it's not gonna fit in your sedan. Maybe you got a roof rack, you can throw that puppy up there. Um, and there's some pedal action, trying to fix that um, chain ring. That chain ring was mad bent. It would not hold the chain on there. I took it off, pounded it straight, tried to pound it straight. Um, but it wasn't that part. It was the entire chain ring. So I ended up having to just take that chain ring off, put on a new chain ring. It's a giant chain ring. Do not let that fall on the ground. It will bend. It is gigantic. It is aluminum. It will bend immediately. So if it's folded, remember, protect that chain ring because it will break. And by break, I mean bend. And then never hold the chain again.